Hello everyone and welcome. For any gardener, a greenhouse is like stepping into a secret world, a haven where the seasons seem to bend to your will. It's a chance to create a perfect growing environment, no matter what's happening outside. Now, I know what you might be thinking, greenhouses are complicated, expensive, and only for the experienced grower, but that's simply not true. Setting up a greenhouse can be surprisingly straightforward and the rewards, well, they're more than worth it. So let's put our gardening gloves on and get started. The first step on our greenhouse journey is choosing the right structure for your needs. Now, there are a few different options for beginners, each with its own charm and practicality. First, we have the pop-up greenhouse, a fantastic budget-friendly choice. Think of it as a tent dedicated to your plants, perfect for small spaces and easy to move around. Then there are poly tunnels, also known as hoop houses. These offer a bit more room and are great for growing crops directly in the ground. Lastly, we have mini greenhouses, ideal for patios and balconies, offering a compact haven for your precious seedlings and smaller plants. When deciding which type is right for you, consider your available space. Do you have a sprawling garden or a cozy balcony? Be realistic about the size you need. Next, think about your budget. Remember, choosing the right greenhouse is about finding the perfect balance between your gardening aspirations and the space you have available. Now that you've chosen your ideal greenhouse, let's find the perfect spot for it in your garden. This decision is crucial because the location will determine how well your plants grow and thrive. Remember, a greenhouse is a sun worshiper. It needs ample sunlight to function effectively. It thrives on sunlight, so choose a location that enjoys as much direct sunlight as possible throughout the day, ideally facing south. This orientation maximizes the amount of sunlight your greenhouse will receive, especially during the winter months when the sun is lower in the sky. Sunlight is the lifeblood of your greenhouse, fueling photosynthesis and healthy plant growth. Without sufficient sunlight, your plants may become weak and leggy, struggling to reach their full potential. Observe your garden throughout the day to get a good understanding of its sun patterns. Take note of any obstacles that might cast shadows and consider how the sun moves across your garden from morning to evening. Avoid areas shaded by large trees or buildings, as even a little shade can significantly impact the amount of light your greenhouse receives. Remember, consistent sunlight is key to maintaining a warm and productive environment inside your greenhouse. Next, we need to think about drainage. Proper drainage is essential to prevent water from pooling around the base of your greenhouse. Ensure the area you choose has good drainage to prevent water logging, which can lead to root rot and other problems. You might need to amend the soil or install a drainage system to keep the area dry. Lastly, a level surface is absolutely crucial for a stable greenhouse. An uneven foundation can cause structural issues and make it difficult to install your greenhouse properly. If your chosen spot isn't perfectly flat, don't worry. A bit of leveling with compacted soil or gravel can work wonders. This will provide a solid base and ensure your greenhouse remains stable and secure. A little protection goes a long way in ensuring your greenhouse stands strong for years to come. Consider adding windbreaks or other protective measures to shield your greenhouse from harsh weather conditions. With the perfect location chosen, it's time to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. The best part of any gardening project in my opinion, there's something incredibly satisfying about transforming a patch of earth into a thriving garden space. So let's dive in and start preparing the ground for our greenhouse. First things first, give the area a thorough clear out. This means removing any clutter, old plants and anything else that might be in the way. It's essential to start with a clean canvas. Remove any existing plants, weeds or debris. Weeds can be particularly pesky, so make sure to get them out by the roots to prevent them from coming back. This step is crucial for ensuring that your greenhouse has a healthy start. We want to create a clean slate for our greenhouse. A well-prepared ground will make all the difference in the long run, providing a solid foundation for everything that follows. If you're dealing with particularly stubborn weeds, consider laying down a weed barrier fabric before you begin building. This fabric acts as a shield, preventing weeds from sprouting up and causing trouble later on. This will help keep those pesky invaders at bay. It's a small step that can save you a lot of hassle in the future, making your gardening experience much more enjoyable. Next, we need to create a solid foundation for our greenhouse to sit on. A strong foundation is key to the stability and longevity of your greenhouse. A good foundation ensures stability and prevents the structure from sinking or shifting over time. You have several options for materials, each with its own benefits. You can use concrete slabs, paving stones, or even pressure-treated timber, 
Each of these materials provides a sturdy base, so choose the one that best fits your needs and budget. For a more budget-friendly approach, compacted gravel or a layer of hardcore topped with sand works perfectly well. This method is cost-effective and still provides a reliable foundation. The important thing is to create a level, well-drained base that will provide years of support for your greenhouse. Proper drainage is essential to prevent water from pooling and causing damage. Now comes the exciting part, assembling the greenhouse itself. This is where all your hard work starts to pay off, as you see your vision come to life. This is where your DIY skills come in handy. Follow the instructions carefully, and don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. Building a greenhouse can be a fun and rewarding project. Once the frame is assembled, make sure it's securely anchored to your prepared foundation. This final step ensures that your greenhouse is safe, stable, and ready for use. Chapter 4. Creating a Green Oasis – Organizing Your Greenhouse Interior With the greenhouse frame standing proud and tall, it's time to step inside and transform it into a thriving, organized haven for our plants. Just like any good gardener, we need to make the most of the space we have. Shelving is your best friend here. Install sturdy shelves along the sides of your greenhouse to house seed trays, pots of seedlings, and smaller plants. This maximizes vertical space and provides easy access to all your plants. Next, think about how you want to arrange your growing areas. Raised beds are fantastic for creating clearly defined sections for different crops. They also improve drainage and make tending to your plants a breeze. If space is limited, large pots or grow bags are excellent alternatives. Organization is key in a greenhouse. Keep tools tidy and within easy reach by adding a small potting bench or tool rack. Chapter 5. Essential Elements – Air, Water and Light for Thriving Plants Now let's talk about creating the perfect growing environment inside our greenhouse. This involves understanding and balancing the essential elements that plants need to thrive. Just like us, plants need fresh air, water and light to thrive. These elements are the building blocks of a healthy and productive greenhouse. Good ventilation is absolutely crucial. It helps to regulate temperature and humidity, preventing the buildup of mold and mildew. Without it, your greenhouse can quickly turn into a sauna on a sunny day, which can be detrimental to your plants. Overheating can cause wilting and stress, leading to poor growth and even plant death. Most greenhouses come with vents, but adding an automatic window opener or a small fan can make a world of difference, ensuring a constant flow of fresh air, even when you're not around. This can be especially useful during hot summer months. Next, we need to consider our watering system. Proper hydration is key to plant health, and there are several ways to achieve this. While a good old-fashioned watering can will certainly do the trick, installing a simple irrigation system can save you time and effort, especially if you have a larger greenhouse. Automated systems can ensure your plants get the right amount of water consistently. Drip irrigation systems are incredibly efficient, delivering water directly to the roots of your plants. This method reduces water waste and ensures that each plant gets the moisture it needs. Finally, let's talk about light. Natural sunlight is ideal, but sometimes it's not enough, especially during the winter months or in shaded areas. Supplemental lighting such as LED grow lights can be a worthwhile investment, providing your plants with the extra energy they need to flourish. These lights can mimic the natural spectrum of sunlight, promoting healthy growth and flowering. Chapter 6. Choosing Your Greenhouse Companions, Selecting the Right Plants With our greenhouse prepped and ready, it's time for the most exciting part, choosing what to grow. For beginners, I always recommend starting with easy-to-grow varieties that are sure to reward you with a bountiful harvest. Tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers and herbs are all excellent choices for greenhouse growing. They thrive in the warm, humid environment and are relatively low maintenance. Leafy greens like lettuce, spinach and kale are also great options, offering quick and satisfying results. When selecting plants, it's crucial to consider your local climate and the time of year. If you're starting your greenhouse in the spring, choose warm season crops like tomatoes and peppers. For autumn and winter growing, opt for cool season varieties like lettuce and spinach. Grouping plants with similar needs together is always a good idea. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try growing a variety of plants to see what works best in your greenhouse and your local climate. Chapter 7. Tending Your Green Sanctuary Maintenance Tips for a Thriving Greenhouse Now that our greenhouse is a hive of plant activity, let's talk about keeping it that way. Regular maintenance is key to ensuring a healthy and productive growing environment. Just like any garden, greenhouses need a bit of tender loving care to stay in tip-top shape. First and foremost, cleanliness is paramount. Regularly remove any fallen leaves, debris, or dead plants. 
This helps prevent the spread of pests and diseases. Wipe down surfaces with a mild disinfectant solution to further deter any unwanted visitors. Next, keep a close eye on the temperature and humidity levels inside your greenhouse. Invest in a maximum minimum thermometer and a hygrometer to monitor these vital signs. Inspect your plants regularly for any signs of pests or diseases. Early detection is crucial for effective treatment and preventing the problem from spreading to other plants. Just like in an outdoor garden, rotating your crops is a good practice. Chapter 8. Your greenhouse journey begins. Time to grow. And there you have it. We've covered everything you need to know to set up your own beginner-friendly greenhouse and start growing your own thriving little ecosystem. Remember, choose the right greenhouse for your space and budget. Find a sunny and level spot in your garden, and prepare the ground carefully. Organize your greenhouse interior to maximize space and efficiency, ensuring good ventilation, a reliable watering system, and adequate lighting for your plants. Start with easy-to-grow varieties and gradually expand your repertoire as you gain experience. Don't forget the importance of regular maintenance. Keep your greenhouse clean, monitor temperature and humidity levels, and inspect your plants for pests and diseases. With a little care and attention, your greenhouse will reward you with an abundance of fresh, homegrown produce. Now it's your turn to embark on this rewarding journey. Remember, gardening is a continuous learning process. So there we have it. A greenhouse ready to be filled with the promise of life, growth, and in time, a harvest that you have nurtured yourself. There is nothing quite like stepping into your own personal haven of warmth and greenery, especially when the world outside is gripped by frost or rain. Take your time, enjoy the process, and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Every seed sown, every plant nurtured, is a step closer to a more fruitful and fulfilling connection with the natural world. Happy growing!